When a patient is diagnosed with endometrial cancer, first step is that they have a consultation with one of the GYN oncologists who would actually perform the surgery. And by surgery, I mean a complete hysterectomy, which would include removal of the uterus, the cervix, both tubes and ovaries. Sometimes we also take lymph nodes for biopsy to see if the cancer has escaped beyond the uterus or not, and that's what we call staging. On a day of the consultation, they will also meet with my staff to discuss pre-surgical preparations. They will also have a pre-surgery anesthesia visit at the anesthesia clinic to discuss how anesthesia will be performed. On the day of surgery, they will check into the pre-surgical area in the hospital and they will see me one more time shortly before the surgery. So if there's any last minute questions they'd like to ask me or get clarification before the surgery, they can do that at that time. In most cases, uh, endometrial cancer surgery is done with robotic technology. Robotic surgery is a laparoscopic surgery, meaning you perform the surgery using a camera. It has a fabulous camera with 3D vision. So you have a very good bird's eye view of the pelvic cavity, and you can do surgery in a more precise way. And several long skinny chopstick-like instruments uh, to perform the actual surgery. So surgeons like me can free up our hands and actually perform the procedure. It's important to know that the procedure is done by me, not by the robot. After surgery, they'll be in the hospital. They may go home either the same day, in the, later in the afternoon, or the next morning. And that depends on the complexity of the surgery, the extent of the surgery, the timing when they complete the procedure, and other medical factors.